Good morning, Jenna. Good morning. Annie's still not awake. Yep. Honestly. Let's go fix that. You look grumpy, I'm sorry. Hey, hey wake up, we're visiting Jenna. Tuesday. Yeah, what time is it? It's like... It's like, oh, it's like 10.45. Yeah, it's almost 11. Morning. Okay, so it turns out that Annie was working really late last night on the vlog, so that's why she's still asleep now. So Jenna and I are just terrible people. Yay! She lives! Sorry. Hi Annie. No, it's quite alright. You probably told me this when you were coming to bed, but I didn't realize that you edited all the videos for today, so thank you very much. Wow, I have a really dry throat all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes, you know. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. And that he also explains why you were so tired this morning. Yeah. How are you doing this morning, Jenna? I'm good. Good. A bit how's, tired. How's your condition? Are you feeling like, I mean, I think you were telling us yesterday you were feeling about the same as you were when you visited us at the beach party. Mm-hmm. I still feel the same. My hip, my hip and knees are really bad today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did we excite you too much yesterday? Maybe. No, it's okay. It's just that's what happens when I have visitors. I, plus I did, I was on the floor for a bit, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, today we're going to hang out with Jenna, uh, get some, a little bit of work done on the vlog, most of which we don't have to do because Annie was awesome last night. Thank you, Annie. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to go out and have a dinner with my dad and my sister and at least one of my nieces. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I'm uh, going to see them one more time before we head off, so looking forward to that. I don't know why I'm talking about it when I could just show you, but whatever. Alright, on with the rest of the video. Oh, oh bye, Jenna. Oh. I don't want you two to go. We'll visit you when we come visit from France. I'm going to be coming Promise? back in three months. Really? I have to come back for my visa. <gasps> so don't worry, you'll see, he'll see us again. You can stay here, you don't have to stay at home. <laughs> you don't have to go home, you don't have to let anybody know you're coming. You can just stay here, <laughs> in my basement, forever. <laughs> I'll bring you a Christmas present. I'll get you one too, promise. Okay. So you have to tell me what it is, because I'm not good at picking out games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you, surprise me, and then you'll probably, like, I don't know, strippers, I don't know. <laughs> don't get strippers. <laughs> well, I, I keep that for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be coming back. I probably will, because uh, like for me, I would probably just be getting a week off of work, where mm -hmm. she has to come back for a while to renew her visa. Then again, it's going to be so like near the beginning of me starting the job. I don't know if I'll be able to get that week off. Mm -hmm. uh, though they probably do Christmas off, so I don't know. So yeah. I'll I'll probably be visiting you around Christmas time. You better. I will. <laughs> I miss you already. Mm. I'm glad that you've been having us over a lot recently, because like, mm -hmm. like it was like almost a year that we didn't see you until you started having these gatherings more often. Yeah, well, it really helped me a lot through the emotional stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm really glad. Mm -hmm. yeah, promise you'll keep having get-togethers after we're gone, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> you can Skype us into them as long as you it's You can early. watch the bad Batman movie we were going to watch last night, and then you're all like, oh, we can watch it with you over Skype or something. Okay. It just has to be early enough in the day, because we're six, going to be six hours in the future. In the future? Yeah. Future. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we better go catch our bus. Annie, get in here for a hug. Okay, I just want to squish your feet. Okay. Mm, bye. bye, Jenna. Bye. We Miss you. you Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to squish you. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> squish away, Annie. It's I'm your not, last I'm chance. I'm not actually squishing. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Okay. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Jenna. Bye. There you go. Really, really bright. It is very bright. We're looking like the whitest people on the face of the planet right now. <laughs> we just need like bodices and like powdered wigs and or fans. Like, or we have really sunscreen. Black, like, like all like black clothing and like white face paint. Mm. Yeah. But we do have sunscreen. Maybe we should just put that on. Probably a good idea. Ah, oh, it's so bright. Hello. Hey.
As we can see, we're in the bedroom, so you know what part of the vlog this is. <laughs> yeah, it's the sexy times. Oh no, my. No, no, Welcome we... to the new segment of all the world. We wouldn't make you guys watch that. Anyway, stuff happened today, and we didn't film it because it would have been a little awkward, I think. I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I don't like pulling out the video camera for doing the vlog, but I'm with my family for whatever reason. Yeah, we had a nice dinner uh, to say goodbye to my sister and uh, her two older daughters. It was really nice. It's, uh, Dad was there too, but I'm going to be seeing him a couple more times before we go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we went to uh, a nice organic food restaurant. Yeah, this is a really nice vegetarian restaurant across yeah. from the GCTC down here in The o Great Canadian Ottawa. Theatre Company. Yeah, yes. so it, it's, it's really yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we got to see them all and we took a nice picture together. Here's the picture. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to see them all again before uh, before taking off because it can be difficult to arrange visits with the family. Yeah, they're very busy. She has five children. Uh, yeah, five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I lost camp there for a sec. <laughs> and they're all, like, very well taken care of. She's, she's a very, very good mother. She's... One of the few people I would trust to have <laughs> many, many children, kids, yeah. but um, so it's really hard with all all of the things that they, you know, all the schedule that they have to see them. Yeah, the first time I saw you, you guys remember Silas when we went to uh, someplace near Toronto for his dad's birthday. Yeah, he my was dad. yeah he was three years old when we saw him, and this t last time I'd seen him before that, he was a few months old and was falling down the stairs, or he fell down one step, because <laughs> he couldn't quite figure out the crawling thing yet, and then he was totally fine and crawled yeah. at mother. <laughs> Babies are terrifying. I need to blow my nose just a second. Oh. So gross. Alright. Yeah, so and then we came home. Say, said goodbye to a lot of people today. Yeah, and then we came home, and I was so depressed that I slept for several hours. That's not true. I think you were just so tired that you said. I was so tired, yeah. I stayed up till 7.30 in the morning yesterday editing videos, so yeah. kind of crashed when I got home. Yeah, and while she was sleeping, I just edited another three videos. Thank you. You're welcome. And so I'm going to take the sleeping shift next, because I've got to go visit my dad tomorrow. Uh, and then Annie's going to be wonderful and ed edit some more videos again, because she's beautiful and fantastic. Hey! Come on. Yes? Ask me about my tattoo. Annie. Tell me about your tattoo. Oh, thank you for showing interest, Clement. You're welcome, Annie. Hello, is tattoos. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Yay! Tattoos are starting to finally get to the peely gross stage. Yay! Here's the other one. Yeah, this one, this was the worst one, right? This is the one whose healing has been a little bit less smooth sailing. Yeah, you can see it's a little more cracked and yucky. Yeah, this one, I don't know why, just the healing has been a little rougher with this one. I, I'm a little nervous at this point. I mean... It'll be fine. Yeah, like... it's my first tattoo, though, because, and I, I don't know... You don't know until you actually go and get one how your skin is going to react to it and how you're going to heal and what your process is going to be because as much as there are guidelines where you know that, you know, after a couple days it should start peeling and when it peels you should be fine. Like, aside from that, everybody reacts differently. <laughs> so I'm really, really nervous because I feel like this sort of scabbed up or like, like the skin stopped being skin looking and looked very leatherly very quickly and I don't know if that's okay if, if that means I just heal faster or if that means I'm going to experience a lot of ink loss um, when it flakes off you know I freaked out a little bit when I woke up this morning because it, it looked like this like the triangles were becoming stretched in one direction or, or another I don't know if you guys can see well, but yeah, I felt like the triangle was like getting stretched in this direction a little bit. Yeah, but already it looks a little less stretched. Than yeah, it did and Kama point. pointed out because he's logical and doesn't freak out at everything like I do, that the scabs are just pulling my skin a little bit hot and it, it yeah, looks, so it'll warp the shape a little bit. It looks bit. a little warped. I can sort of already see at the very edges where the skin is just starting to pull away the ink that's under my skin. Sometimes I feel a little bit worried because I feel like it, it should be darker than that. Or well, it could um, also because the skin is being pulled there so it just looks thinner yeah so i i don't know I, you know it could be that maybe it's just my skin because i'm i don't know but you never know until the tattoo is completely healed how it's going to look and you, you won't know until it's completely healed if 
you know, anything is because it wasn't well performed or if it was something lacking in your care. I still wash it twice a day and I try to, as much as I can, keep the skin moisturized. And it's really hard to know that because this has been cracking kind of badly for a couple days, no matter how much attention. I mean, you shouldn't over moisturize it. But I try to keep it, like, if my skin starts to feel tight, that's when I try to put something on it. Yeah. Um, because if you put too much stuff in it, it'll clog the pores and make breathing really hard and your tattoo needs to breathe. So yeah, until the skin, all the gross yucky skin, has completely left and I'm left with the tattoo, I don't know how it's going to look and that's a little terrifying. From an outsider's perspective, you know, not having the extra anxiety from having it on my own skin, like, uh, I watched the guy do it and I feel like he did it very well and I feel like you're taking good care of it, so I'm not too worried at this point. You know, it was a lot of black ink in one area, so that could explain why there's such a crusty film over it. I hope you feel better. You too. I hope these look better when they're healed. And with that, I think we're going to pack it in for the night because I've got to I've got to recover because I've got allergies going on right now. And yeah, and I've got things to do in the morning. So I think sleep would be do me some good. So me do you? It would be do me some good. So we will see you then. Have a fantastic night. And we love you. Bye.